Hey everybody, Fred here with another video. Thank you so much for watching this series. We are talking about the Azure Monitor or Azure Observability Series. My name is Freddie Dubon. I am an Azure Technical Specialist with Microsoft. However, this video is not sponsored or endorsed by Microsoft. This is my own um, opinion, my own doing. So I'm really happy that you're here watching this video. Today, what we're gonna continue doing is we're gonna continue in the generate circle, which is we're gonna look at um, generating the reports in intra ID. And we're gonna look at how that data goes into the Azure Log Analytics workspace. So let's go ahead and get to it. So this is the fourth video in this series, and we're still in the generate circle here, the generation of data. Remember what we talked about, that every, everything um, generates something, some type of log, some type of metrics. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we, in the previous video, we looked at the VMs and how they generate the data, how that data gets collected and goes into the log analytics workspace. In this video, we're gonna start looking at other areas in Azure they generate logs and generate information as well. They're not generating metrics because this is only logs. So we're gonna be looking at the intra ID portion of things. So let's go ahead and get into the portal. Okay, now we're in the portal. So let's go ahead and go to uh, intra ID. When we're looking at intra ID, this is what used to be called Azure AD. And this is used for um, creation of users. And this is the one that controls all the logging in, logging out. There's a lot of things that are part of this. Um, this service here, again, users, groups, external identities, roles. Uh, this is where you set up roles and you set up uh, administrators and things like that. This is where you also set up applications. So if you want to manage identity, this is where you set it up as well. This is where you set up application proxy, which is the, the, the service that gives you the ability to uh, connect an on-prem application. So there's a lot of things here that, that are part of this uh, intra ID. So let's just look at users for a minute. Again, users is the users that you have. I have a lot of users that I use and it's for testing purposes, but if, if you were an enterprise system, you would see all your users here. Uh, some of the users here are, are members, some of them are guests, some of them are invited guests and things like that. So, so anyway, what I wanna show you is that there's a lot of users here. Some of the things that, that you wanna look at is the audit logs. The audit logs is the things that have happened in the last seven days, uh, 24 hours, you can do a custom time. So if you say it last seven days, for example, it'll give you some information. That's the audit logs. There's the sign-in logs as well. The sign-in logs is who has signed in and when. So let's see what it gives me here. There you go. So this one tells me that I'm the only one that logs in. I'm logging into the application, which is Azure portal. And if it's a success or a failure, it tells me the IP address where I connected from, and it tells me where it came from so it gives me a lot of information so so okay so what is this important it's important because it tells you who's logging in you can export this data um, so if you say export the data you can pretty much um, tell it to export the different logs and you can tell it to send it to a um, either a storage account or you can also send it to a log analytics workspace so what we want to do here is we want to send the sign-in logs to a log analytics workspace. So let's go ahead and give it a name, FMD Entra. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to send the sign-in logs, maybe the audit logs as well. But there's a lot of other ones, provisioning logs. There's a lot of different logs uh, that you can send. Again, you can choose whichever one you want. For this test, I'm just going to choose the sign-in logs. And I'm going to tell it to send it to a log analytics workspace. Remember, you can send it to a storage account. You can send it to an event hub, or you can send it to a partner solution. In this case, I'm going to send it to a log analytics workspace. I'm going to, set, I'm going to select my subscription. And as you can see, here is my log analytics workspace that I created, FMD test workspace. If you don't know how to create a log analytics workspace, you may want to watch the previous video where I showed you how to create one. So you select that and then you click on save. So 
So updating, successfully updated the diagnostics for, uh, for this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. So this is um, some of the things, one of the ways that you can do it. Another way that you can do it is you can go to the monitoring section here and you can go to, you can go to the sign-in logs. And again, this is all the sign-in logs, same, same information. It tells me that I am the one that logged in. And in this case, you can pretty much do the same thing. You can do export settings from here. Mine is already here, the one I, that I created. It's telling me that it's sending it to the FMD test workspace. You can edit the settings. And in this case, as you see, there is no collection rule that is created because this is more of a, a log. So you can tell it um, how, how, how the log is being sent. You can click on edit settings here and you just pretty much select which log you want to send. Same idea, same thing. So now we go back and now we look at the log analytics workspace and let's look at this right here. Let's look at the tables. One of the things that I mentioned before is that whenever you add more things to the log analytics workspace, the schema, the schema is all the different tables that we have. So in this case, all these different tables um, will change based on what you're collecting. So in this case, um, you will see other ones soon. Right now it's not showing me uh, sign in. Okay, so this is how you can set up the Entra ID to send the sign-in logs to the Log Analytics workspace. Um, but again, you can send the sign-in logs. What can you do with the sign-in logs? You can set up a, a, a KQL query that says, find me uh, when the global admin logs in, for example. And then you can set up an alert that when a global admin signs in, you can send a notification to somebody. Um, that's just a, an example of what you can do um, when somebody logs in and it uses that global admin you can set, send an alert uh, of course there's other things that you can do if you have conditional access you can take advantage of all the um, all the rules that you can create with that you can also use the um, when the user logs in and you can take a role so you can assign a role or you can make that role available for the user to to take whenever they need it. That's not part of this video, but again, from, from the monitoring point of view, from the observability, you have all the information and the sign-in logs that you can use. Um, just remember that from the generate point of view, there's a lot of services in Azure. Key Vault, for example. This Key Vault is another service. I have a Key Vault that I use, uh, and then I have a lot of different um, secrets here. But again, if you go to the monitoring section, you can go into the diagnostic settings. The diagnostic settings, you can add a diagnostic settings, which is where you set up um, where you set up the category of the logs and where you're gonna send it. So you can say send all all logs or the audit logs. So depending on what you're looking for. So let's just say I'm gonna use the audit logs, and you can say all metrics as well and send it to the log analytics workspace. And again, it's the same log analytics workspace that I was using before, and then I can click on save. So now whenever a secret is used, that information is gonna go automatically that to the log analytics workspace. And what I can do is I can set up alerts, I can set up uh, KQL queries. I can say, I'm just gonna keep that information for later use. It's really up to you. This is just another way that you can that you can set this up. Again, you can you have to set it up. Metrics is, is part of the the <clears throat> the uh, key vault, which in this case is just how the API is responding, how many times you're using it, what is the result, how long it's taking. Those types of metrics are part of the the key vault. So there's a lot of things. One of the nice things about this monitor is that as you saw we went to every single VM, for example. When we're looking at virtual machines, you go to one virtual machine and you can set up the diagnostic settings for that system. Diagnostic settings, and you can tell it to, um, or you can go to the alerts or the insights. Typically logs is one way that you can enable this. You can set up <clears throat> this and, and you tell it to use a collection rule. Again, but if you have a hundred VMs or even a thousand VMs, 
you're not going to go through every single one, right? Because it's just going to take you too long. So the way to do it is you go to monitor, you go into the settings. This is where you go. Uh, click on the diagnostic settings. And here you select the scope. So in this case, I'm going to set up the Visual Studio Enterprise uh, subscription. The resource group, I can select a specific resource group. Um, I don't have to. I could just uh, leave it blank so I, so it shows me everything. But if I want to, if I want to do it by log analytics, excuse me, by resource groups, I select the resource group. And then the resource type, I can select give me um, all the network interfaces, for example, or IP addresses. So, so you can see everything from one location here. So the purpose of this video was to show you how everything goes into the Log Analytics workspace. I created only one Log Analytics workspace that was on purpose so that you can see that everything can go in there. And, and when you add, so for example, when you added the key vault, the, the schema got extended of the uh, Log Analytics workspace. So this is how it, um, how it keeps increasing and increasing and increasing and you're able to query and query for data. There's, I mean, there's a lot of KQL queries that you can use, which are very advanced. In this case, I use very simple queries. But again, this is not a, a video on how to create queries. This is just to show you in the generate data. All services in Azure generate the data and you have to set them up to point to that log analytics workspace. So now all your data is going to go to one central location. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you have any comments, leave them in the section down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'm trying to increase my audience. So any comment, anything helps with the algorithm. So thank you so much. I hope I can see you in the next video.